also it's looking a little bit gr uh, brown in the back because there's a fire remember back in 2017 there were two fires the canyon fire and the canyon fire too well this year has been crazy i mean after all it's 2020 but should we really expect it this truly is a california adventure and so that is the silverado canyon fire and then if we turn around and you can barely see it but you can see it over by the parking structures down there you can see a little bit of haze as well because we're again sandwiched in between two fires once again because that one is from the chino hills area so we are in a sandwich again it smells like fire down here and it's frankly about to rain ashes on us because that the wind's not in our favor and it's blowing directly over a disney california adventure so it's crazy um a couple new things here at downtown disney this week off the page reopens today and not to mention mobile order popcorn that could potentially be the best thing that this it's, it's a feature that we never asked for but they gave us they gave it to us like a christmas present so we're going to check both of those out today I'm out here with Freddy. I think we're doing dueling vlogs today, I guess. That's what we're doing. Um, that, wow. That is massive. You don't see that every day. No, you don't. You see that once every year, two years. Well, um, it's become more frequent. It's happened twice this year. What was it, September? Yeah, yeah, earlier. September. Earlier in the year. So again, Silverado before. Canyon. And then... A you can't see it anymore. Yeah. That's, yeah. Chino. Chino. It's not good. It's crazy. Yeah. We're heading into the uh, California Adventure. This really is a California Adventure in 2020, by the way. <laughs> COVID and fires. That's that's what it is. Well, look at this. It's abandoned Buena Vista Street. My goodness. It's Galaxy's Edge after one year. Oh, yeah. Well, it took one week. One week. <laughs> one week. Galaxy's Edge after one week. It's over. It's because you used the, what, the boarding group system was used for the first week. And then that was it. Just yep. walk through I, I'm, I'm, yeah. with reservations. And that was what it well, was. Well, it's the sort of thing that, like, all of the built-up demand was already met. Everyone showed up who was going to show In up. In the first week. So now, this is what's left. Now it's just part of downtown Disney, except all of the people who would normally go to downtown Disney are now spread out. Yeah. Which is really great for COVID. That, it took I mean, a couple weeks it. It to couple get weeks. that. Now we're at maximum social distancing. And I like that. It's very pleasant, so make your way down here if you want. Wear your mask. And don't come here after you took a COVID test. Yeah, don't do that. that that's, I mean, it's concerning enough that there already is a COVID testing site just down the road at the Anaheim Convention Center. Is off the page already? Because they said 12 o'clock. Um, it's got open doors. It's got open doors. Nope, nope. Not nah, it's close. Nope, not open yet. Fresh bake, where you at? Ah, but you can walk past the trolley. It's all open. You can walk past the trolley. Uh, true. How far can we get? Can we look around the corner and look at Avengers Campus? Because somebody did that the other week. <laughs> Idiot. Let me try it. Oh, things are happening. Yeah, they opened the door and closed the door. So you can go now to the edge of the street. No, just after the animation building. But you can get up close and personal now with the trolley 623. This really is starting to feel like a, a Taz Gamer live with the selfie face cam. It feels weird. Which, by the way, Taz Gamer later tonight. We're playing Squadrons, baby. I'm surprised no one's going closer or going to the other side and taking pictures because it's mirrored. Well, you can now. You can now! Which yeah, means churros are going to open. The yeah, they can open the churros. Yeah, that's a 12. So, Oh yeah, we got to wait for off the page. But I just want to walk in here. Schmoozies. Schmoozies could open. Schmoozies can open now. Uh, the bread plays can open now. Anim yeah. Animation Academy. Stage oh, 17 oh. connection. Yeah, yeah, Probably not, to... but. You know. 
I think that was Katie from uh, Best Life and Beyond. <laughs> I mean, it's lunch. I, I'm not eating just yet, but Freddy is. Meal of the day, what you got? You did get some Jack Danielson mm -hmm. frozen coke, so that's... Best thing here. Best, so I got the uh, bacon the... cheeseburger, waffle fries, and nice. the uh, Jack and Coke. I was like, for a second, I thought they gave you a nugget. <laughs> mm, kind of, kind of looks like that. But it's uh, Chick-fil-A style waffle fries. Yes, it is. Gotta love that. Mm -hmm. They are delicious. So anyways, we are back in the corner, um, but I, I, we posted it, a couple clips of the popcorn stand all the way down there. I haven't said to wide angle and just, actually, can I switch the app? Oh, no, I can't while it's recording. Um, but all the way down there is the popcorn stand. Right there, in the middle, right above the heart. Oh, yeah. And then order food. For the first time ever. Can mobile order it is mobile order only today because they are releasing brand new uh, popcorn buckets for a annual pass holders it is themed to uh, Jack Skellington so that's pretty awesome right there um, but yeah it's the first time ever I think we, uh, we can mobile order popcorn I don't think it's it's never been done and they finally did so mobile order popcorn and only for today uh, mobile order only for this location by Grizzly Peak, the Buena Vista Street location. I haven't seen it open. Was it open at all today when we when we went by? Or I think it's just this. Is it just this popcorn stand that's open? Or this is open. The as far as popcorn, you have this, and there's a popcorn cart on Buena Vista Street. Okay. And that one has the caramel corn as well, the hot and fresh caramel corn. So there you go, variety. Yeah, variety. But I don't know if that's available right now on Buena Vista Street, or if that's that'll be added in later. We'll see. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, it's still ver rather early in the day, but it's pretty dead today. So it's a, it's a pretty nice day to go. Just if you don't mind the fire and the ash and the LA County uh, lockdown order. <laughs> All right, we're back out here in Hollywood land where the first people are in line. There is a line. There's a line. There's a line. <laughs> like, what, didn't what expect this. I'm not surprised. There is a line. It's a line. It's a socially distant Black Friday. Black Friday, so this is the equivalent of Thanksgiving Thursday. <laughs> I mean, everybody's here to get their art, right? Yeah. So this is so. I mean, the big thing about this is this basically replaces Wonderground Gallery. It's a great idea that should have been done, like that should have, frankly, opened when Downtown Disney re or when the Buena Vista Street Experience opened. So it's a great idea. It's a great. Ex I mean, like, we'll see what they have in there. Hopefully, there's some new phone cases for uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max. <laughs> no, I'm not expecting that. Not, not for yeah, a while. It, take, it takes them like a year to make new iPhone cases. Um, but yeah, what are you? I mean, like, I'm, I'm genuinely. Like, I don't know why I'm saying this, but what are you expecting? <laughs> uh, I'm expecting pins and some artwork, and that's about it. So some artwork. Uh, again, like everything else, when it comes to Buena Vista Street. It's it's gonna be you know nothing compared to what you normally have. No, um, by no means. But it, it's something fun. It's exciting a little bit, you know, because hey, look, something new open. Yeah. Boy, there's something new to see. It's stimulating. You know? It it gets our <laughs> your blood pumping. Our blood pumping. It gets us up early in the morning. Oh boy. To try and be among the look, first. Something new. Oh my goodness. And the vloggers gotta love the vloggers. Yeah. Way to visit the street right now in my opinion, is basically a stress reliever for World of Disney yes. Stage 17, because those have had massive lines ever since they reopened. Mm -hmm. And well, that, no, was, that was the purpose behind Stage 17, yeah. was to alleviate that. But by opening up Buena Vista Street, what they've done is completely kill the line into World of Disney, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and, and you know now everything's kind of balancing out. I mean, today it's been pretty empty consistently. It's been amazing. Um, it really has. It's an amazing experience. Lots of room for social distancing. Barely anybody else here. It's a good time. You have background music. It is one of those things of like you don't have the rides, but essentially the the idea of you walking around the theme parks. It's here. That's what this is. Yeah. I mean, Knott's Berry Farm. They charge you what 25, 30 bucks for it. 
They're not charging you here, but you know. Well, that's for a food event, though. It is a food had, event. Had it yeah. been food and wine or festival of holidays, you know, that would be an upcharge event if they did it here. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are going off the page. Disney dollars. Yeah, hey, look. We're building that. Look we're, familiar. We're, we're gonna put that there. It's like, it's like the pre the haunted mansion before it was haunted. Okay, got jewelry here. And yes, I, I love this one. They're facing the wrong way. Oh. Didn't they just release, uh, what do you call it? The Brett Iwan collection? So you have the storybooks on this side, the iconic art wall full of artwork. Iconic art wall full of artwork. I mean, oh, no. <laughs> I'm holding it the wrong way. Jeez. It's nice. This is a huge selection of artwork. I mean, look at this Coco. Look at this Coco stuff right here. The, the big thing is, is that this is replacing Wonderground Gallery. This is what, this is all the artwork and more. Um, pretty awesome. So you also have up here, uh, 145 for the canvas, not too bad. Happily ever after though, get for 185 as well. That's not even Disneyland, it's Walt Disney World. All right, now the collection of pins. All right, now do they have anything for iPhone 10? I mean, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, I saw a few actually, but I don't remember where. <laughs> I swear I saw some though. I remember seeing that word. <laughs> I mean, the OtterBox case. I mean, at least they'll make iPhone cases. True. So yeah. that's why I switched. Yes, I, <laughs> Question I agree mark. with that. These are so cute. Look at all the Mickeys. Ugh. But I have to ruin it with a pop socket, so. Pop socket, an Otter Pop. So. Ooh, that one already has one. Oh, man. Why do I love See, I like the Otter Pop ones because the Otter Pop you can use yes. like a stand. Yes. And it's pretty I smart. Pop I can't even use a phone with that one. Looks like it's just oh, ten, tens and elevens, but nothing, nothing for the top of the top. I swear I saw one, but I don't. Oh yeah, that's a max. Okay, maybe I just saw the word max. Yeah. My bad. It's okay. okay I found a good case for Pixar Charlie. Hey. Nice Star Wars collection though. You got Resistance. R two D two and some. Porgs, replace those porgs with uh, the iconic C three PO. Uh, Do Do and BB eight. So this and this are basically the same. Got storybooks, and these storybooks are notebooks. Excuse me. And you can write in them, so that's pretty cool. Swinging over to this side, <laughs> Chip and Dale Nutcracker. That's awesome. That is awesome. We got ornaments and puzzles from the back wall. So yeah, pretty good selection for uh, for this shop. It's really nice. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, special thanks to Freddy. He'll be joining us later tonight for Taz Gamer Live. That's going to be at 9 o'clock. And don't forget the Mandalorian live reaction show at 11.55 tonight. Uh, and we will see you guys then.